Boat building on Lake Union started in a rush in 1916. That's when the locks were open and the boat builders had an opportunity to get into the lake, build boats here and easily uh, get them out into salt water. The lake was just perfect for them because it was protected and it was close to downtown where their suppliers were and where their customers were. There were just dozens of shops built all around the perimeter of the lake and they were all busy. They were all excellent builders and everybody went there because of the high quality works. Whether they were building a fishing boat, a tugboat, a cruising boat or a racing boat, the skills were here. The people that had come from England, Scotland, Germany, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, the uh, Balkan countries, and they all came with uh, their own special skills. And they loved to work here because of the nice environment of, of working on the lake, but also the great supplies of, uh, of good wood, old growth, fir and cedar and spruce. And they all had their specialties too. The Pococks built the uh, uh, wonderful shells for competitive rowing, college rowing, and they were so good that they were ordered by uh, universities throughout the whole country. They were shipped over. The uh, movie stars and property developers in Southern California were ordering their 100-foot yachts for uh, Blanchard Boat Company or Lake Union Dry Dock to build. The boat building was continuously going on into the middle of the 20th century. About that time, fiberglass appeared and a lot of shops closed because they simply didn't want to work with this uh, smelly, sticky stuff um, and they uh, didn't want to have to build uh, repetitive boats out of the same mold. And uh, that's when the Center for Wooden Boats came along. We provide a place where people can learn about their maritime heritage through direct experience and we teach people how to build traditional boats. There's something wonderful about building a boat. There's something wonderful about watching people build boats. There are just so many wonderful historic boats here to look at, and people are always working on them, doing some repairs, uh, taking down the mast and revarnishing it, uh, redoing the rigging, uh, putting in some new deck beams, new planking. So it's a wonderful opportunity to see that a tradition that goes back before history is still happening, and people could just kind of stroll down uh, to Lake Union and, and see it.